Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 39 of the show with no name. I'm your humble host, Nick, and today we're going to be exploring another abandoned farmhouse out here in the desert. I like to call this house White House. Let's take a look. We're going to start this one out downstairs in the living room. Here we are going through the front door. The living room still in pretty good condition considering all the exposure to the elements out here. This house, like all the rest of them, was just so unique. The build of it was so interesting, as you will soon see. As usual, they had awesome windows in the living rooms that gave you a lot of light, which I liked how they do that back in the day. This house also had that colorful 70s vibe to it. I bet you that's when it was at its best condition in the 70s. Checking out the first bedroom down here. As you can see, it's pretty windy out here right now and cold. The typical harsh climate out here that the people back in the day had to endure. Some old furniture left behind. Bet you this house looked really nice when it was first built. I like the yellow tile paper too that they had on the walls. Green carpet. Really liked these cupboards too. I just thought they were awesome. I bet you this was a really cool kitchen back in the day when it was looking at its nicest. Unfortunately too, people have already come to this house and have started tagging it, which is unfortunate. But I think we're going to start seeing that more and more. And this was one of the special areas of the house to me. I just thought this was so cool. The way they put all these windows in like this in this room. I can imagine how it just lit up on a nice warm summer day. And somebody was sitting there at their desk doing whatever work that they were doing. Just so unique and random. I just love how you never know what you're going to walk into when you come out to these old abandoned farmhouses. I was just drawn to these two rooms. I had to come back and get some more footage of this awesome room, as well as the kitchen with those really cool, unique cabinets.
I just love what they did in here. It's so awesome. There's the door to the bathroom right there. As usual, the bathroom's in horrible shape. Like most bathrooms are when I come out here. For one reason or another. Got the old pink tile paper. It was definitely a colorful house on the inside back in the day. I think that's a pretty interesting contrast. It's really colorful on the inside, but wide on the outside. Maybe it got repainted later on. Who knows? Wouldn't surprise me if the house was at one time a different color on the outside. Now here we are upstairs where, as you can see, the upstairs so far has taken the brunt of the damage in this house. Specifically the water damage. It's starting to make parts of the ceiling fall off and things are starting to rot. And it's typical of what you would expect. That's something else that's interesting. Downstairs it seems like they used boards on the house but up here they definitely use the stick and plaster build in some areas at least they did over there and that used to confuse me but now i'm starting to come to the conclusion that they just used whatever they could back in the day maybe some rooms had boards but then all they all they had left was sticks and plaster so maybe a couple of the rooms might be stick and plastered and the rest of the house could be boards i think that happened quite often back in these days when they were just so resourceful and they used everything that they had at their disposal to get by The people that lived back in these times were much thriftier than we are today by necessity. These are just such cool little rooms up here though. I love the angled roofs and how they put a really nice double window there at the end of this bedroom. I bet you this was just such a cool room back when the house was first built. Also confused that there were two doors right next to each other that led into that room. That was also really confusing to me. Maybe at one day, at one time, it was two rooms. I don't know. Now, as you can see, the water damage is finally starting to get to this upstairs bedroom, too, and it's making all the wallpaper fall off, and yep. We have more sticks and plaster. Such a beautiful view from this bedroom window. Again, I love the double window concept that they ran with in this house where they put two windows next to each other in these old upstairs bedrooms. I just think it's so unique. Well, that's it for White House. I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos and the pictures. Thank you.